the Lamborghini 350 GT, a masterpiece of Italian automotive engineering. Born from the passion and vision of Ferruccio Lamborghini, this iconic supercar is a timeless symbol of power, elegance and performance. With its sleek lines and aerodynamic design, 350 GT commands attention wherever it goes. Under the hood lies a roaring V12 engine, delivering exhilarating acceleration and a symphony of exhaust notes that will leave enthusiasts in awe. Step inside the cockpit and you'll be greeted by luxurious craftsmanship and cutting edge technology. From the hand-stitched leather seats to the polished aluminium accents, every detail exudes sophistication and refinement. The Lamborghini 350 GT is a symbol of automotive excellence that stands the test of time. The Lamborghini 350 GT is a Grand Tourer manufactured by Lamborghini between 1964 and 1966. It was the first production vehicle produced by Lamborghini. The 350 GT was based on the earlier Lamborghini 350 GT V and was equipped with a 3.5 litre V12 engine and a Tudor body by Carrozzeria Touring. 350 GT debuted at the March 1964 Geneva Motor Show and production began the following May. The success of the model ensured the company's survival, establishing it as a viable competitor with rival manufacturer Ferrari. May 1964 to 1966, 120 built. The engine is a 3.5 litre Lamborghini V12 with 280 horsepower. It was a five-speed ZF manual. Predecessor was the Lamborghini 350 GTV and the successor was the Lamborghini 400 GT. 1963 Lamborghini 350 GTV prototype. After the testing of his prototype, lead engineer Giotto Bizzarini left the company. Giotto Bizzarini was born in Livorno, Italy in 1926. He studied mechanical engineering at the University of Pisa and later began his career at Alfa Romeo. Bizzarini's talent for engineering quickly became evident, leading him to work on various high performance projects. In the late 1950s, Bizzarini Bizzarini joined Ferrari, where he contributed to the development of several iconic models, including the Ferrari 250 GTO. His engineering prowess earned him recognition and respect within the automotive industry. In 1961, Bizzarini left Ferrari due to internal disagreements and founded his own company, Societa Autostar. He continued to work on automotive projects, including the creation of his own sports car, such as the Bizzarini 5300 GT. Bizzarini's collaboration with the Lamborghini resulted in his involvement in the designing of the Lamborghini V12 engine for the 350 GT, further solidifying his reputation as a brilliant engineer. Throughout his career, Bizzarini remained dedicated to pushing the boundaries of automotive engineering, leaving a lasting legacy in the world of high-performance sports cars. Cars. One notable quote attributed to Giotto Bizzarini is, The ideal engineer is composite. He is not a scientist, he is not a mathematician, he is not a sociologist or a writer, but he may use the knowledge and techniques of any or all of these disciplines in solving engineering problems. This quote reflects Bizzarini's multidisciplinary approach to engineering, emphasizing the importance of drawing from various fields to innovate and solve complex problems. The following month, Ruccio Lamborghini tasks engineers Gian Paolo Dallara with developing a production version of Bizzarini's 350 GTV Grand Tourer. Dallara, with assistance in the project by engineer Paolo Stanzini, and test driver Bob Wallace. One notable quote from Gian Paolo Dallara is the car is not only a tool for mobility, but also an emotional object. It's very important to feel good when you're driving. This quote reflects his understanding of the emotional connection between drivers and their vehicles, emphasizing the importance of enjoying the driving experience beyond mere functionality. Dallara and Stanzini quickly realized that the 350 GTV was not properly designed for mass production. They began working in parallel on two projects that would result in the production of the 350 GT. First, they began detuning the original Bizzarini engine and redesigning the original Bizzarini chassis for street use. Second, they started readying the 350 GT V for its late over 1963 Turin Auto Show debut, where Lamborghini hoped it would raise interest in the eventual production of 
the 350 GT. Paolo Stanzini was born on July 17, 1936 in Bologna, Italy. He began his career in the automotive industry in the early 1960s, working for Lamborghini under the guidance of company founder Ruccio Lamborghini. Stanzini quickly rose through the ranks becoming chief engineer and technical director. During his tenure at Lamborghini, Stanzini played a crucial role in the development of several iconic models, including the Lamborghini Mira, widely regarded as one of the first supercars. And if you want to see that episode, I've done that before, so click the link. He also contributed significantly to the design and engineering of the Lamborghini Countach, another legendary model that helped cement Lamborghini's reputation for high performance vehicles. In addition to his work at Lamborghini, Stanzini collaborated with Gian Paolo De Lara, another prominent automotive engineer, on various projects. Together they established a consultancy firm called De Lara Automobili Speciali in the late 1960s. Stanzini's expertise and innovative approach to engineering earned him widespread recognition in the automotive industry. Even after leaving Lamborghini, he continued to be involved in various automotive projects and remained a respected figure among enthusiasts and engineers alike. Paolo Stanzini passed away on February 14, 2017, leaving behind a legacy of engineering excellence and a lasting impact on the automotive world. 350 GT shared a number of features with the 350 GTV prototype, including a four-wheel independent suspension, the quad cam 3.5 litre Lamborghini V12 and an aluminium body. A number of mechanical revisions and refinements were made due to the suggestions of the Neri and Bonacini racing development shop and test driver Bob Wallace. Bob Wallace was born on July 29, 1938 in Auckland, New Zealand. He had a passion for cars from a young age and pursued a career in automotive engineering. In 1963, he moved to Italy and began working for Lamborghini as a test driver and engineer. During his time at Lamborghini, Wallace played a crucial role in the development and testing of several iconic models, including the Mira and the Countach. He was known for his exceptional driving skills and his ability to provide valuable feedback to the engineering team. One of his notable contributions was the development of Lamborghini Mira Jota, a high performance version of the Mira that was intended for racing. Wallace made significant modifications to the car, including reducing its weight and increasing its power output. Despite his significant contributions to Lamborghini, Wallace's time at the company was relatively short lived. He left Lamborghini in 1975 and returned to New Zealand, where he lived a relatively quiet life out of the spotlight. The body was redesigned by Carrozzeria Touring, retaining the original profile while cleaning up details of the design to result in a more cohesive appearance. Most notable was the replacement of the prototype's rotating hidden headlights. Carrozzeria Touring is an Italian coach building company established in 1926. It's known for its collaboration with brands like Alfa Romeo, Aston Martin and Ferrari creating iconic designs like the Alfa Romeo Disco Volente and the Aston Martin DB4. They're credited with pioneering Superleggera construction technique, emphasizing lightweight yet strong frames. Though the original company faced financial difficulties and closed in 1960s, it was revived in the 21st century, continuing its legacy of bespoke automotive design. Arrozeria Turing was founded by Felice Bianchi, Endo Loni, and Gitano Bonzini in Milan, Italy in 1926, they aimed to build custom-built bodies for luxury cars, establishing themselves as one of the premier coach builders of the time. As equipped to the 350 GTV, the Bizzarini designed 3.5 litre V12 was essentially a race motor, potentially developing 400 horsepower at 11,000 RPM. In order to fit his grand touring car with a smoother, more pleasant, longer lasting engine that would be good for 40,000 hard miles between services, Ferruccio had Delara and Wallace detune a version of his prototype GTV motor for street use. This included replacing the elaborate and costly racing style dry sump oiling system with a conventional wet sump system, reducing the compression ratio from 11, 0, 1 or above to 9 to 4 to 1, cutting back on the exotic materials specified for the crankshaft and the other components to reduce costs, relocating the distributors to more accessible positions on the fronts of the exhaust camshaft adopting a single very tall Lamborghini made oil filter, replacing the expensive 36mm down drum.
draft racing Weber carburetors with conventional, less expensive side draft 40 DCOE Webers. This resolved clearance problems seen in the GTV prototype and enabled the exceptionally low hood line Ferocio desired, softening the cam profiles with smoother running during street driving. The first detuned L350 engine was tested on October 3rd, 1963. The result later fit in the 350 GT was a very capable 270 horsepower power plant that could reach 254 kilometers per hour or 158 miles per hour in top form. While this 350 GT design work continued, the 350 GTV prototype was rushed to completion for the upcoming October 26 press meeting and the subsequent inauguration of the Turin Auto Show on the 30th. The 350 GTV was shown at the Turin Auto Show with the original Bizzarini Racing V12 engine with its downdraft Webers, rear distributors, etc. displayed alongside as it was not adapted to the chassis. The car was a static display with the suspension arm simply tack welded in place and the engine not installed. Lukewarm reaction to the car caused Ferruccio Lamborghini to postpone plans for immediate production and move on to introducing Dallara's new 350 GT design. In March 1964, only five months after the debut of the GTV in Turin, the redesigned GTV, now called the 350 GT, was debuted at the Geneva Auto Show. It was greeted with sufficient enthusiasm that Ferruccio decided to proceed with production in May 1964. The manufacturer of the bodies was was entrusted to Carizia Turing of Milan, who used their patented Superleggera method of construction to fix aluminium alloy panels directly to a tubular structure. The first 350 GT frame was fabricated by Neri and Bonaccini, who continued to act as Lamborghini's chassis supplier until production of the 350 GT was underway. When the job was turned over to Marchesi, bodies were mated at Turing which then delivered the complete assemblies with even the bumpers in place to the Lamborghini factory. The cars could be ordered in several colors. The first 350 GT chassis and body delivered to Lamborghini factory on March 9, 1964 was named number 101. That same month, number 101 debuted at the Geneva show. The first customer delivered of a 350 GT was number 104, delivered on July 31st, 1964. Production increased slowly Early. Despite the initial goal of building 10 cars a week, less than 25 cars were delivered to customers in 1964. Lamborghini produced 120 350 GTs before replacing it with the Lamborghini 400 GT in 1966. Many 350 GTs were subsequently fitted with the larger 4.0 litre engine used in the 400 GT in order to take advantage of the later engine's greater power and better replacement parts availability. 350 GT had an all aluminium alloy V12 engine mated to a 5 speed ZF manual transmission. It had an aluminium body, a Salisbury limited slip differential, four wheel independent suspension, and a vacuum servo assisted girling disc brakes all round. The 350 GT was originally fitted with Pirelli Cinturetto HS 205 section tyres with its curb weight of 1450 kilograms or 3197 pounds. The 350 GT could accelerate from 0 to 62.1 miles per hour in 6.8 seconds and from 0 to 100 miles per hour in 16.3 seconds and go on to reach a top speed of 158 miles per hour. As was the case with the motor, Bizzarini's GTV racing chassis design was the basis of Dallara's 350 GT street chassis. In the GTV chassis was unsuitable for a street car due to its lightweight construction and small door openings obstructed by tubing. Dallara's redesign for the production 350 GT used larger 60mm square section steel tubing in a central floor with front and rear cradles made from 50mm and 25mm tubing to support the engine, rear differential and suspension mountings. This design provided easy entry and exit through the doors, aided in the quietness of the car, provided a solid platform on which to mount the body. The Lamborghini 350 GT engine was designed by Giotto Bizzarini, an Italian engineer who also also played a significant role in designing the Ferrari 250 GTO engine before joining Lamborghini. The engine was a masterpiece of engineering for its time, featuring a powerful V12 layout that provided exhilarating performance and a distinctive exhaust note that became synonymous with Lamborghini's brand identity. The 
suspension was fully independent with unequal length wishbones and coilover shock absorbers. In the rear, the coilover assembly was located to the rear of the suspension wishbone mountings. The rear suspension wishbones were asymmetrical front to back with an offset that brought the rear wheel hubs towards the spring mountings. This arrangement provided increased resistance to the torsion and improved stability during acceleration and braking. Anti-roll bars were equipped on front and rear. Quality control of the early 3.5 litre engines was very high. Each one underwent tests for 24 hours on a shank wilge dynameter being run for the first 12 hours under electrical power and then with gasoline at increased speeds producing 280 horsepower at 6500 rpm. A detailed analysis was made of its behavior before installation in the car or at least 500 kilometers of mixed tests running by Wallace. The Lamborghini 350 GT, a master of automotive engineering and design that graced the roads between 1964 and 1966. This Grand Tourer, born from the visionary minds of Lamborghini Guinea represented the company's inaugural venture into the realm of production vehicles. With its powerful performance, exquisite craftsmanship and timeless design, 350 GT left an indelible mark on the automotive history, shaping Lamborghini's legacy for decades to come. The genesis of the Lamborghini 350 GT can be traced back to the early 1960s when Ferruccio Lamborghini, the ambitious founder of the company, set out to challenge the dominance of established marquees like Ferrari. Inspired by his passion for speed and precision engineering, Lamborghini assembled a team of talented engineers and designers and craftsmen to realize his vision of creating the ultimate Grand Tourer. Carrozzeria Touring, a renowned Italian coach builder famed for its lightweight construction techniques and elegant designs. Under the guidance of, of chief designer Carlo Elise Bianchi Andolini, Carrozzeria Touring crafted a sleek and aerodynamic body for the 350 GT, incorporating elements of Italian flair and sophistication. The result of this collaboration was unveiled to the world at the March 1964 Geneva Motor Show where the Lamborghini 350 GT made its stunning debut hosting a breathtaking design characterized by its low slung muscular haunches and distinctive grill. The 350 GT captured the imagination of automotive enthusiasts and critics alike. Underneath its striking exterior, the Lamborghini 350 GT housed a formidable powertrain engineered to deliver exhilarating performance on the open road. The heart of the 350 GT was a 3.5 litre V12 engine, a masterpiece of engineering that produced 280 horsepower. Paired with 5-speed ZF manual transmission, the 350 GT offered blistering acceleration and effortless cruising capability, making it the perfect companion for long distance journeys. But the Lamborghini 350 GT was more than just a powerhouse on wheels. It was a testament to the craftsmanship, attention to detail that defined Lamborghini's approach to automotive design. Design. From its hand-built aluminium body to its meticulously crafted interior, every aspect of the 350 GT exuded luxury and refinement. Stepping inside the cabin of the 350 GT was like entering a world of opulence and sophistication. Plush leather upholstery, gleaming chrome accents and polished wood trim adorned the interior creating an ambience of understated elegance. The driver-centric cockpit featured ergonomic designed trolls and instruments ensuring maximum comfort and convenience behind the wheel. But it wasn't just the aesthetics that set the Lamborghini 350 GT apart. It was also the innovative engineering solutions that enhanced its performance and handling. The 350 GT featured a sophisticated suspension system with four-wheel independent suspension ensuring optimal ride comfort and stability in all driving conditions. Vacuum servo-assisted girling disc brakes provided confident stopping power, while Salisbury Limited slip differential helped harness the V12 engine's prestigious power. From the winding roads of the Italian countryside to the racetracks of Europe, the Lamborghini 350 GT proved its mettle time and again, earning accolades and admiration from enthusiasts and critics alike. Its sleek silhouette and thunderous roar became synonymous with automotive excellence, cementing Lamborghini's reputation as a force to be reckoned with in the world of high-performance automobiles. Despite its limited production run of just 120 units, the Lamborghini 350 GT left an enduring legacy that continues to inspire automotive enthusiasts to this day. Its timeless design, unmatched performance and uncompromising craftsmanship serve as a testament to the ingenuity and passion of the individuals who brought it to life. 
in the annals of automotive history, the Lamborghini 350 GT stands as a shining example of what can be achieved when visionary leadership, technical expertise and artistic flair converge. It remains a symbol of Lamborghini's relentless pursuit of perfection and a testament to the enduring allure of the Grand Tour genre. As the automotive world continues to evolve, the legacy of the 350 GT serves as a reminder of the timeless appeal of Italian automotive excellence.